Hey, hello all. How you guys doing this fine, fine evening? You know, I've got somewhat of a dilemma. You know, first off, I'm going to have to say, you know, I grew up in a family that played card games, board games, all sorts of games. You know, got good memories of that. Now, one of the first games that I remember learning to play is the game Cribbage. Um, I did a, some growing up in, in Wisconsin, then we moved to Missouri, and when I was 10 years old, or living in Missouri, I learned to play Cribbage. Cribbage is my favorite game. Now, as I stated earlier, I've got a little bit of a dilemma. I live here in Phoenix, Arizona now, you know, it's 2017, of course, and I really don't know anybody that knows how to play cribbage. Um, I just recently, uh, you know, reconnected with a nephew of mine. He can play. I've got a brother and sister-in-law that plays, but they are so busy that, uh, you know, it's really hard to, you know, get with them and do whatever. Now, periodically, I, I go through cribbage withdrawals. I really need a human player to play with. You know, I play on the app, you know, I play on my uh, iPad and my iPhone, and I play cribbage on that. However, in my opinion, the computer cheats. I was actually thinking of going online and looking up to see if they actually had cribbage tournaments here in Phoenix, and more specifically Tempe, Arizona. But I was just going to show you what I normally do whenever I start going through withdrawals and I need to play, and I don't feel like playing the computer. I've made up my own little mini, mini cribbage, uh, solitaire kind of thing, just because. I mean, what else can I do? But this is what I normally do, you know. I just, you know, give a uh, ghost person a card, me a card. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I just go ahead and cut the deck right away because that's just the way it is. And then, of course, of course, I'm going to see both hands. I'm going to see exactly what to throw in the crib. But whenever I throw in the crib, I try to forget ha 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 uh, the cards that I threw in there, so I can make a, a sound judgment, you know, on what I need to throw from the from the other pile, from the other hand here. See, so, and of course, here I've got. 894 king 64 so probably what i'm going to do is oh uh, i'm going to just in case i get a run i'm just going to go ahead and throw the 8 and the king hopefully i draw 5 that would be really cool and i'll put that in the crib then of course I use do the other hand and see what I got. I got a uh, two 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 ten six four. So I guess what I'm gonna do. I haven't even determined whose crib it is. I'm gonna call it the ghost person's crib. Why not? And I'm gonna go ahead and throw because I don't want to give many points. I'll just go ahead and throw a uh, ten and a six. And hopefully in this hand I don't draw five. Then, of course, it's his crib. I go first. <laughs> oh my gosh, a five. So, I just gave the crib some points, but that's just the way a cribbage life goes sometimes, you know? So, I just have five, six, nine, ten, five, six seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I've got 15, two, and six or eight in that hand right there. That's what I have, yeah. Five, nine. Yep, 15, two, and six or eight. So, I'll just move the peg around the board here because I don't know whoever's watching this if you don't know cribbage. You start at the start, and whoever gets 121 four points first wins, and there's the, there's the hole right there. Then, of course, I would do this. So, I've got 15, two. 15, 4, 15, 6, and 8 are 14. 14 points right there, I believe. Let me do this just so I can... 15, 2, 15, 4, 15, 6, 79, 10, 12, 13, 14 points right there. Yep. Then, I would, of course, I'd move the pegs and all that neat stuff. 
Then I'll go ahead and count the crib, which I have 15, 2, 15, 4. That's it. No more. Then, of course, I'd move the pegs. Now, yeah, I need a human player. As I said, I'm thinking of going online to see if I can find, see if they have any tournaments or something. Of course, I don't want to gamble playing it. I just want to play for the love of the game. But, Cribbage, my most favorite game. I love it. I hope you all have a good night, and I hope you guys have a good week. I will catch you later. Bye.